Hello everyone, Emmy Lou here. We're going to draw a kangaroo today. I um, hope you're enjoying your, well, hope you're having an okay time, productive time in lockdown. Um, it feels like fi day 55. I'm not quite sure what day it is. Um, but I wanted to show you a, an owl that I painted. Not that, not that happy with it, but I'm glad I tried. And a duck. Really like ducks, they're so cute. And I thought a dove, a peace dove. Um, and I like to do the drip effect. Nothing's wrong with him. He's happy. All is good. Okay, so we need pencil, paper, and we're going to draw a kangaroo. I believe it was a request from Gemma and James, so let's go. If it's not, then apologies, but I think it is Gemma and James. I have so many messages of people that want to draw things, and it's just been such a delight to just to just draw what they want me to draw and then see what their finished articles are. So enjoy this guys. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna look at the paper and we wanna do the middle bits gonna be like a rainbow. So just think about, I've done a bit of an arch, but do a rainbow is fine, like a roundy rainbow. Not too much, just a subtle, just a very subtle means just a little bit, not whoa. So a little bit of a rainbow, then you're gonna do a U shape, like a little bend, then you're gonna go up, just like that. Now we're gonna rub out, so make sure you've got a rubber. Nearly lost mine, it's covered in chalk. Ah. <laughs> so subscribe and share this video, this would be awesome if you can, just for your friends as well. Now we're gonna do a triangle for the head. We're gonna go up, just like that, but then we're gonna make this into a triangle. That's a strange triangle, I understand that, but it's more like a, a triangle with a little bit of a bit there. So it's, it's not a pointy triangle is what I'm trying to say. Now look where the middle bit of that triangle might be underneath, so it's about there, and you're going to go down. Don't go down too much, just a little bit. Then you're going to go, so you're kind of doing a, a J, but not, I think it's back to front on the video. Now we want to do the ears, the ears. So you're going to do this, you're going to go, they've got quite big ears actually. One, and now he's got two ears, so the other one's at the back. Can't really see it, so it's just at the back, it's fine. Now the head, we want it to look more like a kangaroo and less like a Lego kind of thing. So touch this bit top it here, and you're going to go down, you're going to chop almost a little bit of its face off, but in a nice friendly way. Then you're gonna do a roundy bit here. So you're gonna do this. Right, get the rubber. Let's get the rubber and rub out some bits that we don't need anymore. So you've got your rubber and we're gonna rub out. I've got tip X just cause I can't rub out my pen. But it's not ideal if I'm honest. You want the rubber. So we're gonna rub out the top bit to create the nice head. We're gonna rub out wherever there's a lot I'm running out. <laughs> you want to rub out whatever's in the ear. Rub away. Then here you're going to rub out all that line because that was just your guideline to help you. Oh no. See this is why you shouldn't use two picks. I think I just dropped some on my new carpet. I've got a carpet in my studio just because it's nice and warm. Okay. Now this isn't all the head, so we're going to leave it, or I'm going to leave mine to dry. You don't need to because you've just rubbed it out. But we're going to just do the tail. So we're just going to touch this bit here and we're going to go. Da -da -da. It's got a really long, powerful tail. They've got powerful tails because they've got to literally jump. Never, I've seen, a, I suppose I've seen a kangaroo. In the zoos, you can see the wallabies, can't you? The cute little ones. Um, so anyway, moving on. So we're going to touch this bit here and you're going to do small, 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 bigger, 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 bigger. So think of them, it's a bit like, I suppose it's a bit like a dinosaur tail actually. They're very powerful, but they're not as chunky as a dinosaur tail perhaps. Now, we want to just float our pen. Uh, I reckon I'm trying to think how to draw it so it's a bit easier for you. Let's start with the arms because that might be a bit easier. So you're gonna go down, not too much. He's got quite small arms. And then we're gonna go, a bit like a dinosaur actually. I'm just trying to think. So you've gone down, you. 
Now, these are his claws, so just do them like that. It might look strange, but it's because he's doing that. He's like, ah, he's jumping. And then we're going to do a little thin arm. So can you see? I've gone up, and then I've gone. So just do, if you can't do it, it reminds me of a halloween -y scary arm almost. So think of it like as long as you've got clawy bits and then you've gone, it's a thin arm, thin arm like a dinosaur. And then you want to touch about, I would say about, think about this line and just fly over. So you're touching this bit, then you're taking your pencil off the, t off the um, paper, then you're putting it back on the paper and you're doing a line because you want the tummy. So with this tummy, we're doing the other hand, the other arm, because he's got two arms and two hands. So we're just going to do, touch this bit here. So you want a little line from there. As I say, pause the video if you need to, because I know it might be a bit, like I might be going a bit fast, it might be a bit tricky. And then, sorry, I don't know why I sing as I draw. It's not really singing though, is it? It's just making a noise. Okay. Think about glory bits, glory bits. And then, so you're going up. Now he's got these two arms. He's literally bounding, like he's jumping. So we're going to do just here. He's got massively powerful legs. So we're going to go, just touch that little bit there. So you want a nice, almost like half a rainbow. Then you're going to go down. So go down quite a bit. Then he's got these massive legs, like feet, sorry, not legs. Why am I supposed to mess them up? Now, this is a great chance now to join it up. So touch the bit of the tail, and you're going to go, whoa. So think about a big rabbit. It always reminds me of a thumper, I think, if you've seen Bambi. It's like a rabbit that thumps its leg, and it's like the hind leg is huge. So a bit like a rabbit leg. The back it's quite a powerful leg it's not quite the same a rabbit and a kangaroo being on so we're just gonna go join that up his feet would probably be they're not very clawy they've just got like paws they're like paws but you could just keep them like that if you want he's got a bit of a back bit there sometimes he has a pouch but we're just gonna keep it as it is or she would have a pouch the girl one um, but here well let's go back to the face we want to do Make that quite rounded so he looks cheeky because that would look cool. Then we want a nice big eye. Now you can do any eye you like, but I'm putting the eye above the circle bit. You do not need that circle bit if you don't want to, but I don't know. I just feel like it looks nice like that. And the ears, we could just put some more detail of the ears. Then the nose is really important and the mouth is. So he's got bit of a nose that goes kind of like that but then you want to just do like a mouth because I quite like the idea of him sort of being happy I've made him a bit cartoony which I quite like and I've got a bit of a nostril there but this is the nostril isn't it okay I'm confused myself so that's all you really need to do if you want to add more detail then that's more in the shadow and the shading to make him look like he's hopping I normally would do sort of lines like that because it kind of looks like he's up and down he's jumping so you could do that or you could just leave it and it's fine now I am gonna go I wanted just a normal color to my kangaroo but you could do a blue kangaroo why not why <laughs> why not indeed I think I cut myself worry hmm so um, I'm going to do a brown. I'm just thinking, we've got two powerful legs, but you don't generally see them all. But if you're worried that it's just, it looks strange, you could just do another line and then that, because that will just show that he's got his two legs. You don't really need to, to be honest, but if you feel that it might feel better, you can. Right, now, I'm going to go round with the brown. I've got my chalk, but you could have, have a go at oil pastel. If you want paint, you still can go around with a nice dark brown paint, then blend in. But I'm just going to go around 
with this colour that looks a bit like a brick colour. If you've got, it's not ideal on Tipex, so luckily you don't have to, but if you've got a big space, you could just colour it more thick at the line to spread the paint if you're using paint. Uh, I'm really happy I wore my white jumper. Let's hope I don't get it on me. I think by now most of you are going to have so many pictures you can create your own gallery in your house which would be amazing. Show me your gallery maybe. There's been a few amazing pictures that I've had of actual all the artwork, all the artwork everywhere. It's been beautiful. Um, I'm going to put them on Facebook so please go on there and have a look. Any pictures you want to share because it's really lovely for your self-esteem, your child's self-esteem and it's lovely for for everyone really to see their artwork displayed for everyone to see so send me in your pictures oh. right can you see i haven't colored any of the inside because i don't need to because i'm going to get my one brick finger because it looks like brick the color doesn't it i'm going to get my one finger and make a lap and i'm just gonna blend <coughs> chalk can be a little bit tricky because you can inhale it by accident, which isn't ideal. Maybe don't get so close. So I'm just smudging it. If you've used paint and you put water instead of me smudging it, doesn't he look cute? What am I going to call him? I don't know. You would think Joey, wouldn't you? Just because that's a classic. But I'm going to be slightly different because because why not? Lucy, Lucy the. Lucy the um, Lucy the kangaroo. Now I'm getting a dark brown because whatever colour you do, you want to then get a lighter or a darker and just go over other bits. So I'm doing a bit of an adult thing, so you don't need to do this. But I'm just highlighting with a darker colour, so I'm kind of a low lighting. Um, just some extra bits to make it look cool and I'm getting my one finger with the chalk pastel and I'm just smudging over it a bit, taking it for a walk my finger. It gives a sense that it's almost more 3D, more 3D, more, I feel like it's more movement in it. And then I like the idea of, oh, do you know what? He could be bounding through water. So I'm gonna do some water there. And because he's jumping in the water, there's going to be splashes. Oh, yeah. Love that. Now, I could do blue like that. I'll be fine. I don't think it matters too much. Ah, oh, quite like that, actually. Isn't it funny that when you have an idea, you think, ooh. It's a little bit scared to do it, if I'm honest with you. Because I thought, oh, what if it looks really bad? But you know what? If it does look bad, don't worry. Just don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> do a bit of dark blue. Right, there's my water. I'm getting my one finger because it's splashing. Oh. You want it to look like it looks a bit like peacock feathers. <laughs> so you could be splashing in water. I quite like the idea of him splashing in mud as well. To be honest, you could just have water there as well. So you could be splashing in mud. He could be splashing in water. He could be in grass. He could be in anything. I think he looks really happy actually. <laughs> Maybe it's symbolic of how I feel today because I feel I feel quite happy today, which is always good, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna get a bit of brown because you can't see, can you, the tipex that I do? But think about the eye. We want a nice dark colour with the eye. So I'm gonna get my black just to outline it. So it's always good to outline the eye and outline the nose, make them a bit darker because it makes things stand out and looks kind of cool. Just like that. Just like that. Aww. I mean, I, as I say, on most of my videos, I can go on forever because I can just start thinking la 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 la. But um, you could stop there if you want. I always feel like there's more <laughs> to do because I think, oh, I could have that. So have a go at doing your kangaroo. If you have a look at some of my other videos, you could literally do kangaroo 
jumping towards a koala bear in a tree and then you can pretend you're in Australia that would be awesome so yeah enjoy your kangaroo Lucy the kangaroo and um, let me know James and Gemma let me know how you get on looking forward to seeing your pictures all of you and um, I will see you tomorrow Mwah. lots of love